Welcome back to another edition of the League of Legends Top Play Champions. We've had a bit of a slow start to 2014 in regards to variety in our Top Play Champions list, but April has shown the community's diverse ability with an arsenal of options on display as we see five brand new additions to the 2014 records. So let's begin. Ash began her 2014 efforts on a high note, taking the January 4th spot as one of her highest finishes in months. Sadly, the success was all too short-lived as once again the Frost Archer returned to her sporadic popularity pattern that saw her miss out on so many opportunities last year. The Sinister Blade arrives a little late to the party as Katarina takes four months to make her mark on the 2014 top played list. She's one of the five champions featured today that managed to complete the month on a positive win-loss ratio, but that's little consolation for a champion that once dominated every lane. It's funny how quickly things can change. This time last year, Ezreal was locked in an epic struggle with Tarek, each driven to claim the grand prize and each managing to deliver on numerous occasions. However, since that time, Tarek has all but disappeared and it appears Ezreal might be right behind him. The Prodigal Explorer is unlikely to be pleased with a debut in 2014 of 8th place. Jinx may be the new girl on the block, but don't let that fool you. She packs one hell of a punch and the League community knows it. Jinx was only released at the end of last year, but she secured 66% of first place finishes following her release and again captured the top spot this January. Previous champion Lee Sin didn't see that last too long, but it's great to see Riot hitting such a soft spot with a new champion release. He may wander the wastelands with a blank expression across his shiny metal face, but do you ever get the impression that Blitzcrank is smiling on the inside? Well, this month he's got a reason to be cheery as the Steam Golem climbs slowly back towards its highest 4th place finish this year. He didn't quite get there this month, but it's a good start. Another of our debut champions for 2014 enters at a respectful spot as the Grandmaster at Arms makes his first appearance in rank 5. Jax is out to prove a point this year despite being one of the oldest champions in the entire league. He's endured dozens of changes, both big and small, and yet almost 5 years after his initial release, he still has a special place in the heart of the League of Legends community. Lee Sin dominated the top play league champions throughout 2013, and although Jinx beat him to the pole position in January, the Blind Monk enjoyed a return to form with back-to-back -back victories the past two months, making him the most successful champion of 2014 thus far. Sadly, however, April hasn't been too kind to Lee Sin as he falls to his lowest finish of the year so far. Needly had arguably the most difficult journey of all the champions last year, thanks to the constant onslaught of poor tasting jokes from many of the MO Attack staff. Thankfully, she seems to have slipped under the radar in 2014 and is once again able to turn her attention to the defense of the bush. Needly's debut appearance in 2014 and what a place to start, claiming third place. April has been full of surprises, but few more surprising than the appearance of Thresh the Chain Warden, taking the second slot. Despite failing to make any real impact last year, Thresh began his 2014 campaign in mid to low finishes until he shot up the rankings in March and managed to secure a third place finish. April sees the Chain Warden improve slightly on last month's performance, but the prize top spot still continues to elude the deadly jungler. Master Yi was a regular contender throughout 2013, but had a disappointing start to this year, just managing to remain in our top 10 list with two 8th and place 9th finishes. April sees a return to form with the Ruju Blazeman as he destroys the competition and takes the coveted first place with a respectful 20,000 game lead over the deadly Chain Warden snapping at his heels. Jinx began the year strong, dominating the January list before Lee Sin made a triumphant return in February and March. Teemo, where are you? April saw an entirely different group of champions contending for the top spot, but will next month see a return to form for Lee Sin, or is this a sign of changes to come? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again next time.